Hi people, um, we're going to do an instructional video how to change the pint tire and not have to remove the rails completely. Um, on another thread I have posted about that and somebody said why don't you make a video. And so I uh, said okay, now, I've never done an instructional video before so you'll just have to bear with me. Um, I think I'm just going to focus mainly on that part that involves not taking the, uh, the rail completely off. That differs from other things that I've seen. Um, so, bear with me. And this is a well used, my personal pint. Not that many miles, really, but uh, it's been used heavily seen some good trails and uh, a lot of tricks so this is the float life TFL um, one piece float plate on here and it's got some double sided sticky tape I usually keep these screws exactly where they were because sometimes they like to be finicky. Um, I must have already had dropped one, but it's got to be right down here. Let me just set this to the side for the moment. Here's that screw. Okay. Now it's been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, we'll get it done, no problem. Usually I use this to keep all my screws separate. I got uh, so many boards and board pieces right now <laughs> that I don't have that free, but that's fine. Oh, also, I got the flight fin system, and might as well be putting that on too. So this is what I have here. Is uh, I've been I love the Hoosier Whisper for the XR and I don't I haven't read too much about it on the pint I'm just uh, hoping and assuming it has the same type of characteristics and benefits to the pint um, already you know the pint tire very carvy so that wasn't really an issue but if I can get a little bit more mileage and a smoother feeling then I would uh, I would appreciate that very much and the fins I do have them on one of my XRs um, you know, it's fun for some stuff. You know, if you're making use of them, that's cool. Um, I really want to try them on here for some tricks, being that this is a little bit lighter. I feel like it's going to be easier to do some some varials, you know, some jumping varials with the board. <laughs> no, nothing's easy. I just feel that a few extra pounds make it a little bit lighter. A little bit easier. If I can get down with the pint, I feel like then <laughs> I can try with the XR, but I can do a lot of things with the XR. That's not one of the things that I've really tried. It do scare me a little bit. All right, you gotta take this, uh, unlock this one here. It takes just a tiny little turn to make sure it's locks and then once it do okay I'm still not getting it a little tool for this they have too but I think that needle nose usually works better it's just getting that angle wiggle it out 
gently. Okay. We're getting someplace here. It'll be easier to get to that if I take this bumper off, but it's okay. same keep them together all right so we're going to slide this out carefully okay look at that full plates really doing their job that looks eh, not so bad and uh these are intact which is nice nothing really broken like uh all the xr ones i'm always having Every time, even sometimes brand new ones, they come. I think they're using the thread locker in here. It makes this brittle if even just a tiny bit gets on there. But other than that, they just break really easy anyways. Um, of course, tighten down. I use this really light, but so it's not me over-tightening anything. All right. So we're also going to need this one here. You undo these two screws with the small Phillips head. And I got that tape here for the float plate. I don't know how easy that's going to come up or if that's going to get in my way. But just make those loose. Carefully-ish, because I may want to use that a little bit. It'll be fine. Well, we're under coronavirus. Oh, well, you know, self-isolation right now. It hasn't hit super hard uh, in this area. Yeah, I'm in the greater Charlotte metropolitan area on the South Carolina side in York County. And I know there's a number of cases, I think at least 30 or something as of right now. But nothing terrible. Uh, to be safe, I'm still just avoiding going out as much as possible crowds grocery is trying to stock up so I don't have to make any runs still one wheeling and just you know stay in a distance from people and things now if this doesn't pop out really easy sometimes it's wedged in there It'll just come out eventually, like when you pop more things loose. Oh my god, am I going to have to peel these uh, float plates back to get to these uh, bolts? I didn't even think about that. So these are really on there good, I've noticed, unless you've already loosened them. They're really, use some really good heavy duty Loctite or something. So. I have broken tools um, trying to loosen these bolts. So right now, I don't even mess around. I use a, a heavy duty impact socket and a driver um, to loosen those. You get a little bit loose that, that other side. Yeah. I'll be right back. 